Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm actually working from home today and I don't start work until 9 and it's 7.50 right now. I'm actually heading to an MRI appointment for my foot, which is a whole nother fun story for you guys. Okay, it's almost 9 now. I'm in the Starbucks drive through really quick grabbing a coffee before I head home and start my work day. Got my MRI done. I did not know they were doing contrast as well, um, but luckily it wasn't like my cardiac MRI where I had to have like a whole IV. It was just like an injection, so that was easy. But the MRI itself was so boring, like 45 minutes of just sitting there staring at a wall. I mean, I wish I would have brought a book, but I wasn't really sure what to expect, and it wasn't a full-blown MRI. It was just like one that you put your foot into. So I was sitting up in a normal chair, like, but obviously you can't have your phone or any electronics or metal or anything. So like, I was just staring at a wall for 45 minutes. Now if this line could just move a little quicker so I can get my coffee. I am back home now and I am taking a look at the ads that we ran um, the last couple of days. So I think I told you guys in my last vlog that I'm learning how to do Facebook advertisement, which is super cool because it's like a whole new world for me, even though I've had my own business. I've never done any marketing through advertisement. I've always just done it through like social side of things. So it's really cool to see how we can like get our ads in front of the target demographic that we are looking for. It is very interesting. We're like testing different creative to see what performs better, different copy, and we have like several different variations of the same ad and it's a whole new world for me, but I'm learning as we go. Okay, I just hopped off a meeting and I just downloaded this program to one of the websites that I do the marketing for. Um, it's called Hyperspeed. It's supposed to help with page speed optimization. Um, I'm trying to like increase the site speed so that we get better conversions because right now we're seeing a lot of sessions but not a lot of people are converting and we think it has something to do with the site speed and i guess this lazy loads images but it also compresses images and then we have to go through and do that for everything in the site not just product images taking a little break from my boot because I got to remove the hard cast underneath when I went for the MRI today. And so I'm still supposed to wear the boot until my appointment um, next week to go over the MRI results, but I decided I'm just gonna take a little break from my boot since I'm mostly just sitting right now and the thing is really, really annoying. Heading to the gym right now, and I am so tired, but we're doing it. I am so gross. I took it upon myself to do a little bit of cardio before my workout, and then I ran for five minutes at like full capacity at the end, so I'm like drenched in sweat, but I was very willing to do that because I'm washing my hair when I get home before I go to work today so as long as I'm washing my hair I'm like okay I don't care if I get super sweaty here's my stats for today not bad for an upper body day I know I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow though because I'm just now getting back into my gym routine like the last several days I am home from the gym I'm about to hop in the shower really quick wash my disastrous hair I'm rushing as fast as I possibly can to get ready and it's almost eight 7.54. I need to get the heck out of the house or I'm not going to have time to stop for coffee. First world problems. But seriously, it's Monday. I definitely need coffee. I have so many meetings on Mondays. I took too long and I don't have time to stop and get coffee. So I'm making it at home. <laughs> well, at least I can have it in my Starbucks cup. Also, don't mind how gross it looks right here. I always pull this off really quick because I'm scared that I'll forget to clean it. So I pull it off immediately and then... It drips all over it and it's gross. I need to clean it.
it's 12 15 and i'm on my lunch break right now i normally just stay at work and like eat at my desk and pretty much keep working but i technically have an hour lunch break my camera's just wobbling all over the place but um yeah i technically have an hour so i'm gonna go and uh head to sephora and pick up an online order that i placed yesterday should have picked it up yesterday but i didn't feel like it i was being lazy and so i'm gonna go pick it up now really quick I got my order. I was gonna stop at Starbucks because you know I didn't get to stop at Starbucks. I just realized that uh, they closed down the Starbucks that was in this like shopping mall, so I'm not doing that. But I'm gonna do a little Sephora haul and show you guys what I got. So I got the Forever Skin Glow. This is the foundation that I've been using for a while now. Like I said, I just got like a little bit of a lighter shade, warm olive this time. So hopefully that's the right shade. So I just picked it out based on what it looked like online. I also got a the Sephora uh, Crayon Deep Brown Eye Pencil. I did not realize this was the to-go one. It's very small, but that's fine. Um, and then I bought this little smudging brush because I really want to try to do like a brown smoky eye for fall and then like smoke out um, my like under eye area. And I saw that if you have like a smudger brush, it works better. I don't have any brushes like this. Got tons of brushes, but nothing that's this small and like precise, you know? So I got that. And then I also got this replenishing face primer um, from Too Faced. This is the hangover um it's supposed to be a cream they had like a two versions okay yeah good i'm just making sure i got the right one because they had a spray version and i didn't want the spray we got a little mini laura mercier translucent setting powder for my travel makeup bag and then i also just bought a sharpener a new sharpener because i just got a, that pencil and the sharpener that i have at home sucks it always breaks all of my um pencils and stuff so i just got a sharpener and that is it I am back at work and I am about to attempt to do the eyeliner trick. I don't know, I just feel like doing it. Wow. I actually do think that um, that looks pretty cute. Like this eye. Ooh. And I don't have um, like my eyeshadow done how I would do it if I was smoking it out. Maybe? I don't know. Okay, if anyone cares, here's what I brought for lunch. It's an adult Lunchable. I already ate a bunch of the cheese, but cheese and crackers, and then some carrots, cucumbers, and pineapple, because I so much prefer to snack than to have like a big lunch. So like having a bunch of little things that I can just pick out while I'm sitting at my desk is like my go-to. And then for my afternoon pick-me-up, which is right about now, I brought a V8 energy drink. I've been drinking these over Celsius lately. They actually have like half the amount of caffeine uh, than a Celsius does, as well as some other benefits. Um, I know Celsius also has some good stuff in it too, but I just feel like it was too much caffeine for me if I had coffee in the morning, which most mornings I do, like this morning. So, been choosing this lately. I am home from work now. I want to show you guys my plants which i haven't shown you these in a really really long time like months and months and the last time i showed you my monstra it had like two or three little baby leaves on it probably like the size of this one and look how big it's gotten like this is my hand for reference huge and then also look at this beautiful thing so proud of it it's gotten so big and then i have this devil's backbone that's also gotten really tall it's along with my snake plant it's crazy I'm so proud of my plants, they've come so far. We're doing shrimp tacos for dinner tonight and Chad is cooking up the shrimp. It smells really, really good. Trader Joe's citrusy garlic Cuban style seasoning, garlic pepper, and red pepper. Oh, I thought you dropped one. Good job. We're also having rice. What is this rice? It smells so good. Mexican rice. Oh, just Mexican rice. Some and ego Mexican rice. Black beans. Ending the night with strawberry shortcake and Sins of Our Mother, which is a super crazy documentary slash mini series, whatever you want to call it, on Netflix right now. It's wild. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Good morning, guys. It's 6.30. Chad and I are about to go for a run this morning together because I and him, it was both of us, we didn't get up this morning. We kept um, snoozing our alarm to get up at like 5, 5.30 to go to the gym. And now we don't have enough time 
to go to the gym, so we figured we'd go run a couple miles or something. I have to be back by like just after seven to start getting ready for work. Only did, well, we tried to do a mile and a half, but then we reached our house and it was already seven. So I was like, I can't run anymore. I have to start getting ready for work. But um, yeah, I definitely walked, I'm not gonna lie, some of the time. It's 8.30 now and I'm heading to work. Actually, it's frantic again this morning. I really gotta work on that. I don't know what I'm doing, but like I'm not managing my time right in the morning because I'm always rushing on the way out. So I had to like throw together a lunch and by lunch I just need whatever snacks I could find because I didn't have time to actually like prepare a lunch, which I was supposed to do last night because I'm trying to get better about that, but you know, one thing at a time. It's really hard to like improve multiple areas of your life at once. Like right now I'm trying to work on doing some exercise every single day and you know, at least I accomplished that, I guess. But I did manage to leave early enough to stop at Starbucks this morning, so we're getting my coffee. I mobile ordered a caramel macchiato. Chad was nice enough to make me breakfast before I left this morning, otherwise I really wouldn't have eaten. Um, and he made me chicken sausage and scrambled eggs. So. I was supposed to eat it with him, but because of me running behind and having to make sure I got coffee, I had to go, so I threw it in a bowl and I'm eating it while I'm driving. I never used to be like this. I don't really know what happened. I used to be so good at like never running behind or having to rush in the morning. That's why I would wake up early and I'm still waking up early. Like I'm just like not moving fast enough or something in the morning. I don't know what's going on. But I still get to work early every day because if I'm not early, I'm late. Hi, I'm picking up a mobile order for Melissa. It is almost 12 now and I'm gonna be heading home in a little bit. I'm actually getting an order together to mail out beds for a shelter. So I'm gonna stop on my way home and drop those off at the post office and then I'm gonna get home and I'm basically just working on video advertisement for Pinterest ads, but it's easier for me to do that from home because my little baby laptop just cannot handle video editing like my iMac at home can. So I'm gonna work on that when I get home for the rest of the day. Trooper's gonna be so happy that I'm like heading home because he hates when I leave. He loves when I work from home. He just hangs out with me in my office all day. I am home now working on some video editing for Pinterest ads. We already got four sales off of a video ad that I did before and it wasn't even formatted for Pinterest. So I can only imagine when I make one that's actually meant for Pinterest. So that's kind of exciting that we're playing around with that and I'm also eating a snack. Some walnuts, almonds, and banana chips. Good morning, guys. I'm gonna do a little chit chat. Get ready with me even though I'm already ready. I'm just doing my makeup. Because I haven't talked to you guys in so long and I need to finally sit down and address my life here. Normally I would never have time to do my makeup and take my time like this in the morning, but, but I have a podiatrist appointment at 11, so I'm gonna be working from home this morning and then going into the office after that appointment. So I have a little more time because I don't have to drive to work this morning. Anyone else who has Invisalign feel like it makes their mouth look so much bigger. Whenever I take out my Invisalign, I feel like I look normal, but when I have my Invisalign in, I'm like, dude, why does my mouth look like so much bigger? If I'm looking this way, it's because my mirror is there. And I actually think the shade is so much better than that other one. Yeah, like look at that literally so good lighting's bad right now but like it's a good match i promise um so where i've been <laughs> i can't remember how much i've already told you guys but you already know that i was going through like depression and having a bad depressive time <laughs> um i actually have been on antidepressants um for years and I went off of them and then ended up going back on them because of anxiety not depression I've actually never really experienced depression like true long-term like chronic depression um, until this year so I didn't really know what it was like I knew that depression makes you sad and not want to do things and you know you don't enjoy things like you used to but 
I did not understand how terrible it is until I experienced it myself because like I said I had been on antidepressants before you know but it was always to treat anxiety and panic disorder because I have a long history of like fainting and stuff. I'm gonna use this mirror too because I can't really see very well. Basically my anti-anxiety medicine just decided to stop working for me and I started getting anxious and depressed and so I went to my doctor and I explained what was going on and um oh actually sorry rewind <laughs> I was on this antidepressant for several years and I felt like it was working really well for me I didn't have any issues except I started to develop this like really bad daytime drowsiness this was like beginning of the year right before I got married I talked to my doctor about it and she suggested since I've been doing so well why don't we go ahead and lower the dose because when you're on an antidepressant specifically an SSRI for so long you know that can happen and so if we just like bring down my dose some maybe I don't even need to be on it. So I thought that sounded like a great idea. I would love to try to wean off of it. Maybe I didn't need it anymore. I really don't want to be on medication for the rest of my life. So I thought like that sounded like a good idea. So we started this process of weaning off of the antidepressant and I started experiencing a heck of a lot more than just daytime drowsiness. I was experiencing like so many changes mentally. Um, very unhappy, very unmotivated. I stopped going to the gym. I stopped wanting to hang out with friends. And this was very gradual. So it was really hard to just like know that that's what was causing it. I was also in therapy this entire time and getting into the depths of childhood trauma. And so like I thought that was contributing. I wasn't sure exactly what was causing me to be so sad. I definitely didn't think that it was like full blown depression until we we decided, okay, let's uh, try a different medication and just, you know, we're not gonna wean off of it. We're just gonna go and accept it, be on an antidepressant, obviously I needed it. So we switched my medication up. I went through several different medication changes over the last year before finding one that finally works. As you can see, I'm a lot better <laughs> of a state now and I am so grateful for it because when I was going through that, I felt like I was never gonna get out of it. Um, like I said, I tried a lot of different types of medications. Um, I don't wanna say the names of them because I don't, like one of them is extremely popular and works for everyone and I don't wanna like throw it out there and then people think, oh, that's what I'm taking. Oh no, maybe I need to change my medication. Like I'm not a doctor, I don't wanna like share any details i obviously have no idea what i'm doing i had to try multiple medications so my advice for anyone is just keep trying don't give up keep trying different medications you'll find one that works for you but at this point i've just accepted that i do need to be on an antidepressant it sucks i don't want to be on it but life is worse without it um a lot worse because i was beginning to when i say feel suicidal i don't mean that i was suicidal it's one thing to be acting out plans and like thinking of how you want to kill yourself. This is really sad to talk about, but um, I don't feel this way anymore, so I'm comfortable talking about it. But I just felt like, what's the point of my life anymore? Like, I felt like there was no hope, like no goals, no motivation to do anything, no drive. Like every day felt the same and I was miserable. And so I just had that feeling of like, what's the point? And that would make me even more sad because there was a time when I loved my life and I just wanted to feel happy again. So it was really, really miserable. Um, this year was the hardest year of my entire life. I'm so grateful that it's coming to a close and I'm ending it much better. I'm still not 100% there. As you guys know, I'm really getting back into things, but uh, I just feel so much better than I did before and every time when I would make a video over the last several months and tell you guys like oh I think I'm feeling better like things are better that was me being hopeful but I wasn't actually feeling better um now I'm being honest with you guys like now I really am feeling better and everyone has noticed it like a change in me not obviously like I'm not as uh active on YouTube yet as I once was I don't know if I'll ever be you know as active because it's not my full-time job anymore but I do feel excited about it again and I miss making videos it's just been the craziest time of my life in the worst possible way I've just been so miserable and I remember always like looking up at Chad and telling him like Maybe one day I'll be happy again. 
and I would say that all the time and I would cry like all the time like when I tell you 90% of my days were crying like at least once a day usually in the evenings or like driving home from work in the shower like the times when I was alone would just be like my crying days um and Chad always asked me like what's wrong and I'm like I'm just sad like I'm just not happy and I'm tired of feeling this way um I was very absent on social media and when I would post it was here and there because maybe I, I felt like I was getting better because there were a lot of times when I felt like I was getting better but it was just so short-lived like I would think like wow I think I'm feeling better today like I actually feel kind of happy I want to make a video I want to like do things I'm excited about something and it would literally go away in like an hour or something like that excitement that like drive motivation for of any kind so every time I thought I was getting better like I wasn't really getting better it was just I don't even know how to describe it it was horrible um so to feel like level and normal these days I I will say that I switched from an SSRI to an SNRI you can look up the difference but um because after trying so many SSRIs it wasn't working for me so we determined I need to try a different class of antidepressant and finally your girl is happy. But I really need to hurry up and finish doing my makeup. I wasn't expecting to just talk the whole time. I gotta um, hurry up and do this because I gotta start work. So that's my life update. I'm really glad to be back though. And thank you guys for all of your loving comments and for sticking around. This is real life. Uh, I, I have a lot of respect for people who go through depression now because it's not just being sad. It's a hell of a lot more than just being sad. Almost 11 o'clock now. I just got to my podiatrist's office. So we're about to go in. I brought my boot with me. I'm not wearing it anymore because I don't think I need to, but um, I never actually explained to you guys what happened to my foot. I explained on Instagram stories, so if you follow me on there, then you know, but um, basically I was having pain in my arches and I thought it was just because I've had high arches and I have really like bony feet. I have my whole life. It's always caused me like a little bit of pain, but you know, it would last like a day and then go away and it was really intermittent, but it's gotten so much worse lately. So I decided to go see a specialist. I got x-rays done and they did like an ultrasound of my foot and found a bunch of inflammation. And she told me on the x-rays that I have a congenital defect called um, navicular hypertrophy syndrome or hypertrophic navicular syndrome or something like that, which basically the navicular bone is protruding um, and you can visibly see it on my foot. It's kind of weird. I've always just thought I had like kind of bony feet, um, but apparently, yeah, that was like the reason for all the pain I was having. And a lot of people that have that end up having it removed when they're like kids and stuff. And clearly I didn't, so we're dealing with it now. Finished the MRI and according to my results, I have posterior tibial tendonitis a strain of my deltoid ligament and apparently I have a bruise on my left ankle due to like the over pronation from my foot caving in because of this like condition but the good news is there's nothing broken it's Friday and I'm trying to do something with my hair I haven't washed it like literally all week it's so dirty so we're trying to figure out what to do with that also didn't go to the gym this morning. I'm not proud of it, but I'm just being real with you guys. I want it to go every day this week and I managed to only get my workout in three times. But you know what? Gotta start small when you're just getting back to it. Um, I was gonna do a slick back bun, but like the top of my hair is so greasy. It doesn't look like it now because I put a lot of dry shampoo and just brushed it, but it's really, really bad. Well, I'm heading to work and I'm in a really good mood because it's Friday. And this week actually went by pretty fast, I feel like. It's a little bit later now and Chad actually got finished his, he's doing like some kind of training or something class. class for work but he's actually not on shift today so he got done early and asked me if he could take me to lunch so we went out to lunch and normally I just work through my lunch break so it's kind of nice we are at this Greek place and I got this yummy salad I actually didn't get a Greek salad this time the last time we came here I got a Greek salad but Chad got I think a Greek salad and a euro 
I almost said gyro again. <laughs> best mood because it's Friday. Just poured myself a glass of wine and I am on my iPad right now just catching up on personal emails and stuff. Chad and I are about to start cooking dinner soon and I'm watching the news because apparently a hurricane's coming. Good morning guys. It is Saturday and I just dampened my hair. I did not wash it but I'm gonna do Olaplex treatment on it. I haven't done this in a while and I really need to. I also soaked my nails and took my nail polish off and I'm gonna do some dip powder on them because I'm having a reaction to gel polish. It is Sunday now. I did not vlog much yesterday. Um, I did do the old flex treatment to my hair and it made my hair so soft. Even Chad said that it felt really soft and it's just, it just looks really nice and shiny. So I'm gonna try to do that more regularly. Um, but we went and watched the Gator game at this um, like wing, local wing, restaurant bar place um and we drank a bunch of beers and ate a bunch of pot wings and watched the gators lose the game <laughs> but it was still fun really quick though i wanted to mention my jewelry and thank um, bubble bar for sending me this jewelry i will link each of these chains these are all separate but i obviously made them like a set this one is really cool because it's reversible so you can wear it two different ways it's so cute and then also these rings these are two different stackable sets um and i love them so much so i'll link everything below and thank you so much to bubble bar if i have a discount code too i'm not sure if they gave me one i'll put it on screen paper is literally climbing on top of four nurture beds right now because i brought these home <laughs> so i could take pictures and you should see when he first comes in here, his eyes get so big and he just gets so excited to lay on all four. Chad and I are about to play some Fortnite since we got all of our important stuff done. Oh, and it's new season. Also, I have been playing Elder Scrolls Online, you guys. That's a whole nother conversation, but it's super fun. We're having kielbasa with Brussels sprouts. Chad just made this. And pierogies, my absolute favorite thing in the world. <laughs> and a salad. All right, guys, I think that is it for this vlog. I am so proud of myself for actually vlogging this week. It's something I have been wanting to do for so long and even though some days I didn't, you know, actually film everything day to night, I think it is a little easier with me working full time um, to do the weeks in my life, you know, where I don't have to vlog every single second of the day because sometimes I'm exhausted, but I try to get a lot of footage this week. I mean, this vlog's probably going to be so long. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this type of video. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video.